What's up everybody, I am Mongoose, you are awesome, and this is a Steel Card Testing Video. Today we'll be testing out a variety of things on Steel, but mainly Jewel of the Apostle, which is an active that for 6 seconds grants power equal to 35% of your ability armor. That does work with a blade of armor. The other card we'll be testing today is Stinger Boost. The Stinger Boost is a passive, and after casting an ability, your next basic attack deals 50 plus 20% of your power once every 1.5 seconds. So I'm hoping that 20% of the power takes into account the power that you gain from Jewel of the Apostle. So, I also want to check out and see what activates Stinger Boost on Steel, because Revenant, whenever he reloads, even though that's a passive, that activates Stinger Boost. I want to see if, specifically, if a Blade of Armor, if gaining stacks of a Blade of Armor will activate Stinger Boost. So let's get into the testing and see how it goes. We know the Bulrush activates Stinger Boost. Let's see if Bulwark does. Throw Bulwark up and our hands are glowing, which means we have activated Stinger Boost. Now we just took a bunch of damage to our a Blade of Armor. Our Blade of Armor is coming back, but it doesn't look like our hands are glowing. So re-instances Re-instances of a Blade of Armor do not activate Stinger Boost. Interesting to know. Let's get on to the punch testing. Let's test and see what just a normal everyday punch does. That was 88 damage for a normal punch. So now let's see what a Stinger Boost boosted punch does. That was 133 damage for a total of a 51% damage increase. Let's, uh, let's do a Jewel only punch real quick. Now this is only activating Jewel. Does 157 damage, which is a 78% increase over a normal punch. Now let's put them all together and see what we get. I've activated Jewel the Apostle. I'll use Bull Rush to activate Stinger Boost, and let's see how much damage we do. 231 damage for a total 165% increase over a normal punch. That's uh that's actually way more than I thought it was gonna be. That's a, this is kind of interesting. So let's recap. A punch does 88 damage. With Stinger Boost, it does 51% more damage. With Jewel of the Apostle, it does 78% damage. If you combine Jewel of the Apostle with Stinger Boost, you can do a whopping 165% more damage than a regular just punch. Now let's test these cards effect on the slam punch rush combo and then we'll also see if losing a blade of armor during the combo affects the output of damage. Now to get the baseline damage we're going to go with a level 13 steel against a level 11 fey with only 5 points of power built in and no armor built up. So the slam does 375 damage, follow up punch does 87 damage. The charge does 196 damage for a total of 658 damage. Now let's move on and activate Jewel of the Apostle before we do the combination. Let's see what happens when I activate Jewel of the Apostle during the slam. The slam does 477 damage, the follow up punch does 160 damage, and the charge does 288 damage for a total of 925 damage. So that is a 41% increase over the base damage slam combo. Now we'll combine Jewel of the Apostle with Stinger Boost to see what the damage outcome is. Slam does 477, just like we thought. Resulting punch is 227 damage, and then the follow-on charge is 288 damage for a total 992 damage, which is a 51% damage increase over the base slam punch charge combo. Pretty interesting. Now let's find out what happens if we lose some ablative armor in the middle of all that. Now let's find out what happens if I lose some ablative armor before the combo after activating Jewel. See, I activated Jewel, then I lost one ablative armor. So let's look at the damage that gets done there. Okay, so the slam does 450 damage, punch does 204 damage. Charge does 268. So yes, if you do lose some ablative armor after you've activated Jewel of the Apostle, you do lose out on some damage there, so that's kind of cool. 
So in summary, the combo deals 658 damage. If you use Jewel of the Apostle before the combo, it does 41% damage. And if you use Jewel and Stinger Boost, you can do 51% more damage than just a regular combo. And if you lose a Blade of Armor at any point in time, it does lower the value of Jewel of the Apostle. Now me personally, I don't think I'll use Stinger Boost on Steel at all. Uh, maybe just like a joke deck or something just for fun. But um, you know, if you want to use it, you know, go go for it. Hopefully, uh, if you were planning on it, this guide will help you out a little bit. This testing video. Um, if you like the video, please hit that like button for me and share it with your friends. And if you want to subscribe, click on that little mongoose that's at the bottom of your screen. But for now, this is Mongoose signing off. You guys have a good one.